have a guess 12 billion dollars this doctor is not from the us he's not from europe he's not from asia he's not from the antarctic now he's quite a clever gentleman this gives him an annual salary of 150 million dollars yeah 150 million dollars annually on top of 12 billion dollars of personal wealth pretty sweet and just in case you're wondering i am not on the list Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Midanveer Singh and I'm an emergency medicine specialist in the UK. And today we're gonna to be going through the top 10 wealthiest doctors around the whole world. The top five are billionaires. So we're not just talking about those who have hundreds of thousands or millions, we are talking about billionaires. I'm gonna be telling you who they are, how they got their wealth. And yes, they are all doctors with the majority of them coming from the United States of America. But the number one spot is held by someone from a different country. And just before we get into it, if you want to watch any of my other videos with how to increase your pay by 77% or earn over 140,000, then follow the links to my videos which I'll put below or you can see them in my playlist. If you're interested in other videos of mine such as fight scene breakdowns from big movie films, then go and check that out in my playlist. Or if you're interested in Doctor Reacts to different things, then go and check out that playlist as well. Okay, so let's start with the top 10. So at number 10, we have Garth Fisher. He used to be a plastic surgeon for ABC's program, Extreme Makeover. And during and after that program, he became the plastic surgeon to the rich and the famous of Hollywood. And by doing this, he's amassed a wealth of $15 million. At number nine, we have Dr. Robert Ray, also at $15 million. He's a famous plastic surgeon known very well the Beverly Hills area of California. He's made over a hundred appearances on television and he has amassed his wealth through his private practice surgery. Number eight, we've got Leonard Hochstein at $20 million and he's also amassed his wealth as guess what? No brainer, plastic surgery. But this time not in California, in Miami. And rolling in at number seven, we have Terry Debro, $30 million. And let me guess what, another plastic surgeon. But now we're shifting back to California and he's a plastic surgeon in Orange County. And he's made television appearances on shows such as The Swan and The Real Housewives of Orange County, programs that we don't watch. And now at number six, we're jumping up the price range a little bit and we're going to somewhere between 30 to 100 million dollars. It's quite difficult to find an exact source for this one. But at number six, we have Dr. James Andrews and he's a top surgeon at the Andrews Sports Medicine and Orthopedic Center. And he's amassed his wealth through this. Now, the top five are a different league. Where the others are very wealthy, ridiculously wealthy, these next five are in such a different league you know they're just they're just astronomically above the other five now we are hitting 1.5 billion dollars we've got dr gary michelson and he's an orthopedic and spinal surgeon now he's quite a clever gentleman because he saw the low success rate of what was happening from spinal orthopedic surgery so he developed a new implants instruments and procedures which allowed spinal surgeons to be more accurate, precise and effective at performing the procedures which allowed for a better success rate that allowed for a better outcome. This in the United States amongst the surgeons were known as the Michelson devices. They did things such as assisting surgical procedures. These devices helped such as decreasing blood loss from operations, decreasing the incision size which meant that it reduced the infection rates but then also reducing the stress and trauma on the body and this led to the development of other technologies which led to more reliable procedures, better outcomes and a reduction in the complication rates. He is the sole inventor on over 950 medical patents worldwide for the treatment of spinal disorders. So a very intelligent engineering mind. In 2005 he sold many of his patents to Medtronic for 1.35 billion and this is what placed him on the Forbes 400 list. He also had a legal battle with Medtronic for his legal patents, which also earned him another set and sum of money. At number four, we have a doctor from China as a billionaire. And this doctor's name is Wu Yiling, with a total net worth of $1.7 billion. Wu Yiling's father founded a company in 1992, which was a pharmaceutical company. And Wu Yiling worked as a doctor and then carried on and progressed his father's company. And this is where most of the net worth is derived from. To the number three spot, we make a massive increase to $3.8 billion 
and this is Dr. Philip Frost. Dr. Philip Frost now is 84 years of age. He initially taught dermatology and then brought a pharmaceutical company. So you can now see this trend of what's happening with the pharmaceutical world and what these doctors are doing. So he bought a pharmaceutical company in 1972 called Key Pharmaceuticals. This then was purchased in 1986 through an acquisition by Shering Plow for $835 million. Of that, he himself received $100 million. So where did the rest of the wealth come from? Well, he's chairman and CEO of a Miami pharmaceutical manufacturer by the name of IVAX. And he sold IVAX to an Israeli-based pharmaceutical company known as Teva Pharmaceuticals for $7.8 billion. And that's where most of his net worth comes from. At number two spot, we make another massive leap from $3.8 billion to $7 billion. And this is Dr. Thomas Frist. Dr. Thomas Frist is an 82 year old. He initially worked as an Air Force surgeon and then alongside his father, he formed a conglomerate of hospitals in the United States. This was done in 1968 and now they have 186 hospitals with 2000 sites across the US and UK. 20% of the company is owned by him and his father and the family and that's where the majority of the wealth is derived from. They have an annual revenue of $51 billion. Now we're going to make another leap from $7 billion to have a guess, $12 billion. This doctor is not from the US, he's not from Europe, he's not from Asia, he's not from the Antarctic. He's a 68 year old from South America and his name is Patrick Soon Xiong. Now this guy is very intelligent. He initially started work as a transplant surgeon and the fortune he made was developed from the chemotherapy agent known as Abraxane. Abraxane is mainly used against breast, lung and pancreatic cancers. Now you're thinking where is the link between between transplant surgery and developing this drug. Well, he's been a visiting professor at many different universities, including the University College London. And through the different years, he did plenty of research. And the research was around chemotherapy agents and medications used to treat these types of cancers. So the fortune came from selling of the pharmaceutical company, APP Pharmaceuticals, to Fresenus SE in 2008. And he sold this for $4.8 billion. He then went on to found Abraxis Bioscience which is the maker of the chemotherapy agent Abraxane. And then he sold this to Kelgene in 2010 for over $3 billion. He then founded Nantworks and Nantworks is a holding corporation which has nine individual subsidiaries, all which are involved in different sectors from technology, healthcare commerce, digital entertainment and venture capitalism in healthcare, education, science, technology and particular technologies include machine vision, object and voice recognition, low power semiconductors, supercomputing and networking technologies. This gives him an annual salary of $150 million. Yeah, $150 million annually on top of $12 billion of personal wealth. Pretty sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And like I mentioned before, if you want to watch other videos of mine of how to increase your income by 77%, then check out my video that will be put up here. If you want to watch other videos of mine, such as day in the life of a doctor or fight scene breaks down in terms of a medical and surgical point of view, then check out those videos. They're in the playlist. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Watch out for my next video, which is the top 10 countries that pay the doctors the most. Catch you all next time.